everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. Welcome back to another Foundation Friday. If you are new to my channel, I review foundations every Friday. I do curly hair product reviews and tutorials on Sundays. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. But today I'm going to be reviewing a brand new foundation for me, which is the Iman Stick Foundation. I have never tried a stick foundation, so I'm very excited to try one for the first time. But I'm also very nervous because I've heard that stick foundations aren't really good for oily skin because they're pretty creamy. So we're gonna experiment today. This is the Iman Second to None Stick Foundation. I got the color clay number four, and it says it's going to be paraben free. It is full coverage, oil free, and long wearing matte color. So that's always a good word for us oily skin girls. Here is the beautiful little stick. It says Iman, it's very sleek and whoa. All right, there's a little plastic thing inside that'll pop out. Don't think I need that. And it looks like almost like a big chunky lipstick, but it's going to be my foundation. I'm so excited to try it. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Oh wait, I need to prime my face first. Sorry, calm down, got a little excited. So I will be using the Stay Matte by Rimmel uh, foundation primer. I've just been using this one in like all my videos lately. It's been getting all the love. I don't even know how much I even like this primer, but I've been using it on my videos. So we'll see. Let me know what your favorite primer is for oily skin as well. Okay, now that I'm primed, now we can get started. So I'm gonna kind of just like start painting this on my face, maybe blend it out. I don't even know. We're just gonna, we're gonna learn together today. So here we go. Oh. So. This is probably too dark for me. Right out the gate. Um, let's, let's figure this out. I'm using this like as an eraser, like, oh, there's a problem, let's delete. This is probably way too dark for me. <laughs> I'm gonna make it work, I'm gonna make it work. Let's not freak out. So I'm gonna buff it out with my beauty blender. Okay, that's better. Getting there, getting there. It's definitely going on matte. Not shiny at all. I'm getting really good coverage. And I've learned that if you do have kind of like acne prone skin, if you have a little bit of a shade darker, it's gonna be doing a better job at covering your blemishes. So keep that in mind if you have a lot of like scars or acne problems that you want to hide and or cover. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let's add, let's draw some more. You know, can we get fun with it? Can we like make a heart? Oh yeah, now we're having fun. Now I'm like those really annoying Instagram videos where they do pointless makeup things. Yeah, everybody loves those, right? I will say that because it's not a liquid form, it does take a little bit more of like a smearing motion to blend it, but it's getting there slowly but surely. Okay, I think I'm all blended out. I think it looks really nice. It's definitely extremely matte, so that always makes me excited to start off on a very matte canvas. Uh, it took a little while to blend. The color probably could be a little bit lighter for me. That could be my fault, but I don't recall anything lighter at the Walgreens that I went to. And now I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. There we go. Now my full face is complete. It is currently two o'clock so I will come back and we'll see how well the stick foundation does on my oily skin after a couple hours. Alrighty, I'm now back. It is currently 10 p.m. so I've had on this makeup for eight hours. So it's a full work day. This is how I would be at the end of the day. So, per usual, I am a little shiny. It just happens to me all the time because of my oily skin. I always get oily here and on my forehead. But it's not too bad. At this point, I am gonna get my Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets. And this is what I do in all of my Foundation Friday videos. And I'm now going to blot and see how it looks. Cause usually I would not just walk around oily, I would blot, but I did not touch my face for the video. So this is definitely more of a matte finish, and this is all of the oil that came off of my skin. It did pick up some of the makeup, so the makeup is kind of coming off, and this is only really supposed to pick up the oil. So that's always something to keep in mind. Okay, so pros and cons. Pros, I like the packaging. It's cute, I'm a sucker for cute packaging. I like how easy it is just to apply it straight onto your face, 
It does have a lot of skin colors for brown skin, which is something that we don't always have. I like that it is available at select Walgreens and Target. I also enjoyed that it went on very matte and it did a pretty good job with my oily skin. My cons would be that it does take a little bit more effort to blend it out because it is more of a like thicker, creamier texture and not a liquid form. Now this foundation is $14.99, so $15 is a little high for a drugstore foundation. Because of my oil blotting test, I will think that this might transfer and it might have transferred like on the side of my face here because maybe I touched it. So it's good, it's just not gonna last you all day, but I don't even think on the box it's claiming to last all day. So you can't be mad at products for not doing what they say they're not gonna do. I will probably continue to use this, so make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you can get an update from me if I do have any other thoughts on using this more than once. This was a first impressions review. And if you have tried it yourself, please leave me a comment, let me know what you think or maybe what your favorite stick foundation is as well. I was very curious to try them and I'm very glad that I did. Before you go, I ask you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you push that little bell so you are notified as soon as I post a new video. I post foundation Fridays every Friday and I post curly hair products and other fun videos on Sunday. So I hope you come back on Sunday because that video is going to be amazing. Just so you know, you're gonna love it. I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.